Chickies are a very popular Indian snack made with caramelizing sugar or jaggery and seeds or nuts. Today I'll be showing you the recipe for a sesame seed chikki. This is made especially during the Sankranti or Pongal period. Do give this a try and if you have liked this recipe don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Spices and More. Hello and welcome to Spices and More. To start with I'm taking 1 cup of sesame seeds. I've taken the white sesame seeds. I'm now going to roast this on low heat for about 3 to 4 minutes. We are looking for the sesame seeds to be light golden and aromatic. After about three minutes my sesame seeds look very nice and light golden and I can smell the aroma so they're ready so let's keep this aside I'm now going to take one cup of sugar and we are going to caramelize this sugar I'm just adding very little water about a tablespoon of water just to help with the caramelization and let's let this caramelize. It's very important to maintain low to medium heat while you're caramelizing. We want the sugar to be caramelized and not burnt. So let's make sure the heat is low or medium. As you can see, it's slowly turning golden brown. Make sure you're breaking any lumps of sugar during the caramelization. I'm adding quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder and one teaspoon of ghee. This is optional. I like the aroma of ghee in my chikki, hence I've added. You can also make this with jaggery. I prefer chikki made with sugar because it has a very nice crunch to it. And after about four minutes, I'm now adding the roasted sesame seeds. I'm giving it a good mix. I'm, I'm maintaining low heat and after about 30 seconds, once it's fully mixed, I'm removing it from the heat and transferring it onto a silicone mat. If you don't have a silicone mat, you can grease the back of a steel plate and use that instead. Let's cover this with a sheet of baking paper or any grease proof paper and I'm rolling it into a thin sheet using a rolling pin. That looks very nice and thin. I'm using a pizza cutter and cutting the chickies. It's very important to do this when the chicky mixture is hot as once it cools down it becomes brittle. So after about 15 minutes my chicky looks perfect. It's nice and brittle and that's what we want. I'm able to break them into the pieces that we had marked earlier. I can see a beautiful glaze that the sugar has brought. Our chickies are ready to be enjoyed. They're very nice and rich because of the sesame seeds and the sugar brings a very nice crunch. Do try this recipe during this Sankranti season and let me know in the comments if you liked it. You can use the same method and proportions to make chickies of other ingredients like peanuts or other nuts as well and also you can substitute the sugar with jaggery if you've liked this recipe don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to spices and more until next time take care